All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. So you can join me here up front. Thank you so much, Junia, for bringing the sermon in the box enthusiastically as always. And so we're going to see what's in the box. Apparently, it's something funny. It seems like maybe it's something funny. Oh, wow, this is a great sermon in a box. I love it. It's a train. It's not only a train. It is, well, it's a part of Thomas. It's not Thomas the train. It's Hero. Is that right? So this is one of the trains that's a part of Thomas the train. Hmm. When the Bible was written, no trains. Right? Trains had not been invented yet. But why? What are trains useful for? They're useful for transportation. Right? They can get you from one place to another, or they can get stuff from one place to another. And for a long time, they were the main way of transportation, especially if you're going long distance and things like that. So, hmm. Now, we do have transportation in the Bible. Usually that transportation was walking or riding an animal, like a donkey or a camel. And there is a story about Jesus riding a mode of transportation. This is right near the end of his life, right before he went to the cross. Jesus rode, not a train, but a donkey, into the city of Jerusalem. And as he did that, his followers and all the people around him, they took palm leaves and they laid them on the ground. And they cried out, praising Jesus and saying, Hosanna. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And you know what? That's what we're doing this morning. Because Jesus rode that donkey into Jerusalem, and because he went to the cross and died for us, this morning, we are worshiping him. We're saying, Hosanna, blessed is the one who came in the Lord, in the name of the Lord, because Jesus took that means of transportation to come and to save us from our sins. That's a great sermon in the box. Thank you for bringing that to us. I don't remember.